Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Steve Nash. Stephen John Nash, OC, OBC, is a Canadian former professional basketball player who played in the National Basketball Association. He was an eight time NBA All Star and a seven time All NBA selection. Twice, Nash was named the NBA Most Valuable Player while playing for the Phoenix Suns. He currently serves as general manager of the Canadian national team and as a player development consultant for the Golden State Warriors. After a successful high school basketball career in British Columbia, Nash earned a scholarship to Santa Clara University in California. In his four seasons with the Broncos, the team made three NCAA tournament appearances, and he was twice named the West Coast Conference Player of the Year. Nash graduated from Santa Clara as the team's all-time leader in assists, and was taken as the 15th pick in the 1996 NBA draft by the Phoenix Suns. He made minimal impact, and was traded to the Dallas Mavericks in 1998. By his fourth season with the Mavericks, he was voted to his first NBA All-Star game and had earned his first All-NBA selection. Together, with Dirk Nowitzki and Michael Finley, Nash led the Mavericks to the Western Conference Finals the following season. He became a free agent after the and returned to the Phoenix Suns. In the Nash led the Suns to the Western Conference Finals and was named the league's MVP. He was named MVP again in the end was runner-up for a third consecutive MVP to Nowitzki in 2006-07. Named by ESPN in 2006 as the ninth greatest point guard of all time, Nash led the league in assists and free throw percentage at various points in his career. He is also ranked as one of the top players in NBA league history in three-point shooting free throw shooting, total assists, and assists per game. Nash has been honored for his contributions to various philanthropic causes. In 2006, he was named by Time as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. He was appointed to the Order of Canada in 2007 and invested to the Order in 2016 and was awarded an honorary Doctor of Laws by the University of Victoria in 2008. Nash has been a co-owner of the Vancouver Whitecaps FC of Major League Soccer since the team entered the league in 2011. In 2012, he was named general manager of the Canadian men's national basketball team, for whom he played from 1991 to 2003. Early life Nash was born in Johannesburg, South Africa, to a Welsh mother, Jean, and English father, John. On February 7, 1974, his family moved to Regina, Saskatchewan when he was 18 months old, before settling in Victoria, British Columbia. He therefore holds British as well as Canadian citizenship. Before the family settled in Canada, his father played professional soccer in various parts of the world. Nash often played soccer and ice hockey with his younger brother Martin, and did not start playing basketball until he was 12 or 13 years old. In grade 8, however, he told his mother that one day he would play in the NBA and would become a star. He was neighbor to future NHL stars Russ and Jeff Courtnall, who used to babysit him and played soccer coached by Nash's father. High school career Nash originally attended Mount Douglas Secondary School in Saanich, British Columbia. But after his grades began to drop, his parents decided to enroll him at St. Michael's University School, a private boarding school in Victoria. There, he starred in basketball, soccer, and rugby union. While playing basketball, 
During his senior season, Nash averaged 21.3 points, 11.2 assists, and 9.1 rebounds per game. In the 1991-92 season, he led his team in his final year to the British Columbia AAA Provincial Championship title and was named the province's Player of the Year. College career Although Nash's high school coach, Ian Hydley, sent letters of inquiry and highlight reels on Nash's behalf to over 30 American universities, Nash was not recruited by any university, until Santa Clara coach Dick Davey requested video footage of the young guard. After watching Nash in person, Davey said he was nervous as hell just hoping that no one else would see him. It didn't take a Nobel Prize winner to figure out this guy's pretty good. It was just a case of hoping that none of the big names came around. However, Davey also told Nash that he was the worst defensive player he had ever seen. Nash was awarded a scholarship by Santa Clara for the 1992-93 season. At that time, it had been five years since the Broncos appeared in the NCAA tournament. That changed when Nash led the Broncos to a WCC tournament title and an upset win over the number two-seeded Arizona in the first round of the NCAA Men's Division I basketball tournament. In that game, Nash scored six straight free throws in the last 30 seconds of the contest. Although Santa Clara was defeated by Temple in the next round, the 1992-93 campaign was considered a successful one. However, the Broncos failed to sustain the momentum the following season, and only managed a 5-7 record in the conference. The team rebounded in the 1994-95 season, with Nash being named Conference Player of the Year, and the Broncos topping the WCC featuring the league leader for scoring and assists in Nash. The Broncos returned to the NCAA tournament, but they were defeated by Mississippi State. After the season, Nash contemplated turning professional, and decided against it, when he learned that he would probably not be considered as a first-round pick in the 1995 NBA draft. In the 1995-96 season, Nash began attracting the attention of the national media and professional scouts. He had spent the summer before that honing his skills, playing with the Canadian national team and working out with the likes of established NBA players Jason Kidd and Gary Payton. Santa Clara again captured the WCC title, and for the second consecutive year, Nash was named Conference Player of the Year, the first Bronco to do so since Kurt Rambus. He scored 28 points in leading the number 10 seed Broncos to a first round upset win over number 7 seed Maryland, but then the Broncos were eliminated by Kansas. Nash's performances ensured that he earned an honorable mention All America as a senior by the Associated Press and the USBWA. He also finished his career as Santa Clara's all-time leader in career assists, free throw percentage, and made an attempted three-pointers. He remains third on the school's all-time scoring list, and holds Santa Clara single-season free throw percentage record. In September 2006, Nash had his jersey retired, becoming the first Santa Clara student athlete to receive that honor. Phoenix Suns 1996-1998 After graduating with a degree in sociology, Nash was selected 15th overall by the Phoenix Suns in the first round of the 1996 NBA draft. Upon hearing the draft announcement, Suns fans booed in disapproval of the relatively unknown player. This was because despite his impressive college accomplishments, Nash had not played in one of the major college conferences 
A major influence in Phoenix Choice was assistant coach Donnie Nelson, who met Nash back in high school as he was coached by Nelson's friend Ken Shields, and would eventually befriend the player as he played in Santa Clara. During his first two seasons in the NBA, Nash played a supporting role behind NBA star point guards Kevin Johnson, Sam Cassell, and later Jason Kidd. Both Johnson and Castle had NBA Finals experience. While Kidd was the second overall pick in the 1994 NBA draft and already an All-Star when he arrived at Phoenix. In his rookie season, Nash only managed 10.5 minutes a game. But in his second season, his playing time increased significantly, and he was even ranked 13th in the league for three-point field goal percentage. Nevertheless, the Canadiens' tenure with the Suns did not last. Nelson had just taken a job as assistant general manager of the Dallas Mavericks under his father. Don Nelson, and convinced him to acquire the underutilized Nash. Following the 1998 NBA draft, Nash was traded from the Suns to the Mavericks in exchange for Martin Muorsep by Bo Wells. The draft rights to Pat Garrity and a first round draft pick. Dallas Mavericks, 1998-2004. It was in Dallas that Nash established himself as a formidable point guard, beginning a decade as one of the game's top players. During his first year as a Maverick, he started in all 40 games he played in, and averaged 7.9 points, 2.9 rebounds and 5.5 assists per game. The 1931 Mavericks failed to make the playoffs, but in the 1999-2000 season, the team's prospects improved considerably. Nash missed 25 mid-season games due to an ankle injury, but came back to record six double-doubles in the last month of play. He finished the season with averages of 8.6 points and 4.9 assists per game. More importantly for the team, second-year teammate and friend Dirk Nowitzki was blossoming quickly into a top player. Veteran Michael Finley was having an all-star caliber year, and the team's new owner, billionaire Mark Cuban, was bringing new energy and excitement to the franchise. Nash now had a supportive environment in which he could thrive. In the Nash averaged 15.6 points and 7.3 assists per game in a breakout season. With Nash directing the team's offense, Nowitzki and Finley playing at their best, and the acquisition of all-star Juwan Howard complementing the high-scoring trio, the Mavericks earned a playoff berth for the first time in more than a decade. Dallas lost in the Western Conference semifinals four games to one to the San Antonio Spurs. But it marked the beginning of a memorable run for Nash and the Mavericks. In the Nash posted career highs of 17.9 points and 7.7 .7 assists per game, and earned a spot in the NBA All-Star Game and on the All-NBA third team. He was now an All-Star increasingly appearing in television commercials and, with Finley and Nowitzki, a part of the Dallas Mavericks' Big Three. Dallas earned another trip to the playoffs, but lost again in the semifinals to the Sacramento Kings four games to one. Nash closely replicated his previous season's performance in the averaging 17.7 points and 7.3 assists per game, again earning All-Star and All-NBA third-team honors. Nowitzki and Nash led the Mavericks from a 14-game winning streak to open the season all the way to the Western Conference Finals, where they lost to the eventual NBA champions, the San Antonio Spurs, four games to two. It was only the second Conference Finals appearance in the franchise's history. The saw an offensively boosted Mavericks roster, but a dip in Nash's scoring contributions. As a result, he was not selected for the All-Star 
and all NBA team rosters even though he achieved new career highs in assists per game and free throw accuracy. In the playoffs, the fifth-seeded Dallas failed to make progress yet again as the Sacramento Kings saw them off four games to one. After the 2003-04 season, Nash became a free agent. He attempted to negotiate a long-term contract with Cuban, who was paying Walker, Finley, Nowitzki, and Jameson nearly $50 million in combined salaries that season. Cuban wanted to build his franchise around the younger Nowitzki and did not want to risk signing the 30-year-old Nash to a long-term deal and offered Nash a four-year deal worth about $9 million annually, with a fifth year partially guaranteed. The Phoenix Suns, on the other hand, offered the point guard a six-year, $63 million contract. Nash was reluctant to leave Dallas and return to Cuban to see if he would match the deal. Cuban did not, and Nash signed with the Suns for the. The Canadian would go on to win two league MVP awards with Phoenix and on at the 14th of June 2006 appearance on The Late Show. With David Letterman, Cuban wondered out loud, you know Steve's a great guy and I love him to death, but why couldn't he play like an MVP for us? Return to Phoenix 2004-2012 Nash joined a Suns team which had emerging young players in Sean Marion, Joe Johnson, and Amar Strudemeyer. In the season before Nash arrived, the Suns had recorded a 29-53 win-loss record, and they were projected to have another poor season. Head coach Mike D'Antoni favored an up-tempo style of basketball. This required smaller and more athletic players with the capability to outrun and outshoot their opponents. Nash's familiarity with this style combined with the athleticism of his teammates produced an NBA best 62-20 record and a points per game average of 110.4, the highest in a decade. The catalyst of this turnaround, Nash averaged 11.5 assists per game while making 50.2% of his field goals and 43.1% of his three-pointers in the regular season. He urged Shaquille O'Neal to win the NBA MVP award, becoming the first Canadian to earn the honor, as well as the third point guard ever to be named MVP, along with Magic Johnson and Bob Cassi. In the playoffs, Phoenix swept the Memphis Grizzlies in four games before meeting the Dallas Mavericks in the second. Round, Nash led the Suns to a 4-2 series win, and the Suns reached the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 1993, but lost to the eventual NBA champions and arch-rival, the San Antonio Spurs, in five games. The next season, Strudemeyer suffered a serious knee injury, and Johnson and Quentin Richardson were traded away. The Suns were not expected to repeat their successful 2005 season, but with Nash directing the same high-tempo offense. The team compiled a respectable 54-28 record and won the division title. The Suns were again the highest-scoring team in the league, with seven players averaging double figures in points per game, and Nash was voted for the first time to start for the 2006 Western All-Star team. Having recorded career highs in points, rebounds, field goal percentage, and free throw percentage, and leading the league with 10.5 assists per game, Nash was named the league MVP for the second year in a row. In the first round of the playoffs, Phoenix overcame a 3-1 deficit against the Los Angeles Lakers and won the series 4-3. The Los Angeles Clippers were their conference semi-finals opponents, and the Suns again needed seven games to clinch the series for the second year in a row. However, the Suns bowed out in the conference finals, this time to Nash's former team, Dallas. 
In the Nash had another stellar campaign, averaging 18.6 points and a career-high 11.6 assists per game while becoming the first person since Magic Johnson into average 18 points and 11 assists per game during the regular season. Nash received the most votes for first-team All-NBA and was joined by teammate Strudemeyer. The two were the first teammates to make the first team since Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal in. Nash received 129 first-place votes and 645 total points. From the panel of 129 media members, he narrowly missed being MVP a third consecutive time, coming in second with 44 first-place votes to 83 for Dirk Nowitzki. In the playoffs, the Suns eliminated the Lakers in five games before losing 4-2 to the Spurs in the conference semi-finals. Nash played in 81 regular season games during the In this campaign, the Western Conference was especially competitive and he led the Suns to 55 wins and the sixth seed for the 2008 NBA playoffs. Although there was a dip in his regular season output, Nash's shooting remained sharp. The accuracy of his shooting was on par with his 2005-06 MVP campaign. On 31 January 2008, he collected his All-Star stripes for the sixth time in his career. However, Nash continued to experience agony in the playoffs. Despite a mid-season trade that sent Sean Marion to the Miami Heat and brought four-time NBA champion Shaquille O'Neal to the team, the Suns were defeated in the first round of the playoffs by the San Antonio Spurs for the third time in four years. In the deciding Game 5, Nash was perceived to have suffered from elimination game jitters, and turned over the ball twice in the final two minutes of what was a tight contest. Nevertheless, Nash was later named to the All-NBA second team for the 2007-08 season. Before the began, coach D'Antoni was replaced by Terry Porter, who preferred a more defensive-oriented style of basketball. The Suns had difficulties adapting to this new system, and even a December trade involving sending stalwarts Raja Bell and Boris Diaw to the Charlotte Bobcats for athletic swing man Jason Richardson saw the team continue to struggle. Porter was then replaced by Alvin Gentry in February after a 28-23 record, but the Suns were unable to secure the final seed for the playoffs resulting in Nash missing the playoffs for the first time since he returned to Phoenix. For his second stint, Nash and the Suns opened the with a series of strong performances, going 8-1 in their first nine games, with Nash producing two 20-assist games. On 21 January 2010, Nash was named as the starting point guard for the West for the 2010 NBA All-Star Game. With him operating at the point, the Suns were the highest-scoring team in the league for the fifth season in a row, and were seeded third in the conference for the playoffs with 54 wins. Behind solid performances by Richardson and veteran Grant Hill, the Suns defeated the Portland Trail Blazers 4-2 in the first round of the playoffs, and swept the Spurs 4-0 in the second round. The Suns met the defending champions, Los Angeles Lakers, in the conference finals. After losing the first two games, Phoenix won the next two to tie the series. A Ron Artest buzzer beater in Game 5 pushed the Lakers one game closer to the finals, and Kobe Bryant's 37 points in Game 6 completed the defeat of the Suns. The Suns underwent two major roster changes in the During the preseason, Strudemeyer left for New York, while longtime teammate Leandro Barboza was traded for Hedo Turkoglu. Josh Childress and Hakeem Warwick were also recruited to join the Suns. 
not long after the season began. Turkoglu, Richardson, and Earl Clark were traded to Orlando for Vince Carter, Martin Bortat, and Mikhail Pietras, while rising star Goran Dragic was traded to the Houston Rockets for Aaron Brooks. The Suns had difficulty being even a .500 team, and for the second time since Nash returned to Phoenix, the Suns failed to make the playoffs. In February 2012, Nash was named to his eighth All-Star game. At the time, he was leading the NBA in assists per game. On 21 April 2012, Nash passed Oscar Robertson for career assists versus the Denver Nuggets. Despite his stellar play, the Suns missed the playoffs for the second consecutive time. He finished the season averaging 12.5 points and 10.7 assists per game on 53.2% shooting from the field. Near the end of the 2011-12 season, Nash was named the winner of the PBWA's Magic Johnson Award. Los Angeles Lakers 2012-2015 on July 11, 2012, the Los Angeles Lakers acquired Nash in a sign-and-trade deal with Phoenix. Nash also considered signing with New York of Toronto, but he decided that Los Angeles was the best fit for him and his family. Nash switched his jersey number, as his customary number 13 was retired by Los Angeles in honor of Wilt Chamberlain. Nash, an avid soccer fan, chose number 10 to pay homage to Glenn Hoddle, Zinedine Zidane, Lionel Messi, and other soccer playmakers who wore the number. Entering his 17th NBA season, Nash came to the Lakers with concerns over his defense and the health of his back. In the second game of the 2012-13 season, Nash suffered a non-displaced fracture in his left leg after a collision with Damian Lillard of the Portland Trail Blazers. He was expected to miss at least one week, but was out of the lineup for close to seven weeks. He was reunited with Dan Tony, who took over as Lakers coach after Mike Brown was fired after a 1-4 start. On the 22nd of December, Nash returned against the Golden State Warriors helping the Lakers win their first overtime game of the season, 118,115, scoring 12 points. With nine assists in 41 minutes of play, the Lakers won three of the first four games after Nash returned. However, they lost their next four, including a 125,112 loss to Houston on 8 January 2013 when Nash assisted on an Antoine Jameson jumper to become the fifth player in NBA history to reach 10,000 career assists. Kobe Bryant was moved to defend the opponent's primary ball handler, freeing Nash from unfavorable matchups. Nash also struggled with Dwight Howard to run the pick and roll, a play that D'Antoni had expected would be a staple for the Lakers. Dan Tony moved Nash off the ball and made him more of a spot-up shooter, while Bryant became the primary facilitator on offense. Nash missed the last eight games of the season, with a right hip injury that also caused nerve damage in his right hamstring. The team qualified for the playoffs as the seventh seed, but were swept 4-0 by San Antonio in the first round. Nash missed the last two games of the series after recurring issues with his hip and hamstring. In what he called arguably, the most frustrating, season of his career, Nash missed a career-high 32 games in the regular season, and averaged his fewest assists since 1999-2000, when he was a part-time starter with Dallas. During 2013-14 season, Nash continued to suffer nerve problems stemming from his leg injury the prior season. In November, he was sidelined for an estimated minimum of two weeks due to nerve root irritation. Nash returned on February 4, 2014, shooting 3 for 6 for 7 points.
On February 7, 2014, his 40th birthday, he scored a season-high 19 points in a victory over the Philadelphia 76ers. On March 13, Nash was ruled out for the remainder of the season by D'Antoni. He was suffering from a recurrence of nerve problems stemming from an earlier collision to his left leg with Chicago's Kirk Hinrich, and the Lakers wanted to give Kendall Marshall and Jordan Farmer more playing time. However, Nash returned on March 21 after a groin injury to Farmer that was expected to sideline him a minimum of two weeks. In July 2014, Nash announced that the 2014-15 season would be his last. During the preseason, he experienced back pain, and further aggravated his back while lifting luggage. On 23 October, less than a week before the start of what would have been a 40-year-old Nash's 19th year in the NBA, he was ruled out for the season due to a recurring back injury. Nash only played in three preseason games before he started to feel more pain in his back. Nash on injuring his back, being on the court this season has been my top priority. And it is disappointing to not be able to do that right now. I work very hard to stay healthy. And unfortunately my recent setback makes performing at full capacity difficult. I will continue to support my team during this period of rest and will focus on my long-term health. Retirement and Consulting Duties Nash announced his retirement from playing on March 21, 2015. Before the announcement, the Cleveland Cavaliers had said to Nash's agent that they were interested in him as a backup for Kyrie Irving if Nash asked for a buyout. Nash refused it, due to both his health concerns and wanting to retire as a Laker in gratitude for the opportunity given by the club. Nash was later on approached by another former team of his, the Dallas Mavericks, to have one last season with them instead, but he declined due to his aforementioned health concerns. On September 25, 2015, it was confirmed that Nash would take on part-time consulting duties for the Golden State Warriors. During his first season with the team, the Warriors produced a record-breaking 73-9 season, although the team fell short in the 2016 NBA Finals to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The next season, the Warriors would win the 2017 NBA Finals against the defending champions Cleveland Cavaliers, giving Nash his first NBA championship in any role. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.